Hey there, I'm Karis the Christmas Elf. Welcome to my home, the North Pole. Truly a beautiful winter wonderland. Not only do we elves love making toys, eating candy, and singing Christmas songs, we also love looking fabulous. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get this fun, festive look. All right, starting off with my NYX Ultimate Cool Neutral Palette, I'm gonna take that shimmery nude shadow and place it right on my lid and the inner corner of my eye. Then, taking this dusty pink shadow, I'm gonna work it into the crease area. You know we elves love to work. Work it. And this light matte shadow here, yeah, we're gonna use that to highlight them brows. Next, mixing these darker shades, I wanna place it right underneath my bottom lash line and also into my crease for more depth and dimension. Now, taking my MAC Glittery Flex in Pearl, I wanna place it right in the center of the lid for a nice shimmer. Then, taking my NYX's Glide On Slide On Liner, I wanna line the outer corners of my bottom lash line, bringing it to the center, then working it up towards my top lash line, winging it out. For a more bolder look, I'm gonna go over it all using my L'Oreal Feline Liner. Time to curl them lashes for some lift. Using my long comb hypnosis mascara, I'm gonna start at the bottom of my lashes and wiggle upward. Time for falsies. Mixing my Kiss number 11 lashes with my Ardell Wispy 600 lashes, I'm gonna apply my Tinker Bell House of Lashes. Wow, that's a lot of lashes. <laughs> Adhesive that I love. Allow it to get tacky, and using my trusty tweezers, I'm gonna place as close to the lash line as possible, adjusting when needed, then taking the Ardell lashes that I cut, place them to the ends of my eyelashes. Then taking the shorter ones I cut, I'm gonna place it right underneath my bottom lash line. And ta-da, that them beautiful eyes. On to the cheeks. Taking some pink blush from IT Cosmetics, I'm gonna pack that on my blush brush woo, and begin to apply it to the apples of my cheeks, across my nose, up to my hairline. I want my cheeks to look nice and rosy like I've been playing in the snow all day. Then with some brown shadow, I'm just gonna contour that elf-like button nose. And using a shimmery shadow, I'm gonna use it to highlight for a very nice frosty look. Taking my L'Oreal Brow Pencil in brown, I wanna create little freckles across my cheeks and nose area. And would you look at that, with some Christmas magic, there's sparkles everywhere. <laughs> just kidding, the clip accidentally got deleted, but I just put some glitter on my cheeks and decollete area. And finally, for the lips, I'm using my Makeup Forever Lip Liner in C10 and 14. That's right. Taking the darker color, I wanna to begin to outline my lips, and then with the lighter one, I'm gonna fill them in. And then I'm gonna to top it all off with my pink shimmery lip gloss from Essence. Mwah! And there is my fun, festive, and absolutely adorable outlook. As you guys know, Christmas is my favorite. I just feel so warm and happy inside. Hmm, what can make this moment even better? Mwah! Oh, someone to share it with. Mm. From our house to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! What you doing? Oh, well, as elves, we have to stick to the four major food groups, which is candy, uh, candy cane, candy corn, and syrup. It's delicious. Sounds nutritious. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Merry, 
Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
I think it's called a hutch, <laughs> not quite sure. But I got it at Pier 1 along with the mirror. And over this way is the kitchen. This is where Jacob loves to cook. Yeah, he makes all his healthy meals here that you guys love so much on Snapchat and our blogs that you've been watching. But this is where it all takes place. It was really cool because yesterday I got to host a kid's Christmas party where we had hot cocoa, decorated Christmas cookies, and sang songs, and um, yeah, it was pretty awesome. You guys can check it out on the blog. Okay, we're gonna head towards our living room, but you can see throughout the house, I'm a big Disney fan, so I have our little Disney artworks around the house. And this is cool because it's actually a laundry chute, so upstairs you could throw your dirty clothes down here into the washing room. Here we have a guest bathroom, and I just love that there's so many windows in our house. Here is the living room with our big 12 foot Christmas tree. So we got these awesome lights from my father-in-law. I believe he got them off of Amazon. And these were a big hit with the kids party and I'm just a big kid myself so it was a big hit with me. And this is the beautiful tree and I wanted to go with more of the lighter colors like the light pinks and purples and blues. And we got our fireplace here on the TV. Our sign of hope that we got from Michael's, and this was from my friend Katie Kelly. She's a very talented artist. All right, let's go ahead and move into the laundry room. So this is the laundry room where we wash our clothes, and I think it's cool because it has a countertop to fold the clothes, and it also has an ironing board in it. Whoa. So you just flip it and bury them. And then the washer and dryer, and then we could close these doors. And then over here is the pantry. We just moved in in October, so we're still like trying to fill the house and stuff like that, but this is our pantry room. And then over here, all the guys like seeing this. This is our garage. I thought it was pretty cool that it has windows in here too. <laughs> Let's see where the video magic happens in Jacob's office. So this is Jacob's office where he does all the editing and music stuff. This is um, kind of his little sanctuary in the house. <laughs> and I opened up the blinds for you guys because I love the view. piece of furniture. <laughs> I like that this says there's no place like home and it's like Alaska. The kids made this yesterday at the uh, Christmas party. And those are Jacob and I's proposal shots that when he proposed to me at Disneyland dressed up as Prince Charming. And then there's a coat closet right here but that pretty much sums it up for the downstairs. Let's head on up. So this is a view from the upstairs. <laughs> Again, I love how it's all open and you can see into multiple rooms from up here. <laughs> Over here we have our first guest room. And I decorated it very girly because we have a little niece that's here and so when she comes and stays the night, she gets to stay in this room. <laughs> this is where you could drop the dirty clothes into and it will end up downstairs by <laughs> Oh, the darkness of this. And then over here we have a guest bathroom. And I love it because it has his, her sink. And then also a tub and shower. So the plan right now is to build a studio on property. But in the meanwhile, we're using this room right here to film our videos. And it's kind of under construction right now. So that could be another time for this room. Over here is another guest room and we decorated it more Alaska theme for our guests from the lower 48.
Alright guys, if you look right over her, this is the drum set that Jacob got for me as a engagement present when he proposed to me. And I absolutely love it. It has stars and, and it's pink and has explosions and music notes and everything I love wrapped up in these drums right here. Oh, let's go on to my bedroom now, shall we? Alright guys, so my favorite Disney princess is hands down Snow White. She's so kind hearted, she's a servant, and even when somebody was so mean to her, she ended up praying for them and baking them a pie. Who does that? Snow White does, that's who. All right, so here this set is really special to me. It's from my grandma, her favorite also to me. It's from my grand, my aunt passed it to me this last trip to California, and so it is super special to me. And this is the purse that I made for my DIY EV from Descendants tutorial, which was really cool, and I love the way it came out. It's basically the heart box of the evil queen turned into a purse. And this wreath is from my friend Michelle of Fourth Corner Photography. She took but, uh, pictures of us at Christmas time and then made buttons out of them. So if you ever want Disney nerd star type stuff and buttons, check her out. She's amazing. And then my friend Keely got me this for my birthday and it's from our friend Alyssa Huffman who did a watercolor painting of Snow White and Prince. Over here we have from Jacob's grandma, another unique Snow White set. Whoa. And the poison apple, just one bite. <laughs> And this artwork above the bed is from our friend Noah of Noah Fine Art. And this picture was what started our friendship and we are good friends to this day. We love him and his family and his artwork's amazing. And over here we have a piece of artwork I got from my friend Tracy and Ben Hines. It's that classic Snow White as she's dancing with the dwarves. And this beautiful piece is from my awesome husband Jacob. On to the master bathroom. So we both got walk-in closets, hers and his. His is clean and doesn't have Christmas presents in it right now, so we'll show his. And here's the bathroom, and I wanted to go with a Neverland theme, so here's a map, Skull Rock, and you know, all the Peter Pan goodness up in here. And then here's her sink, and then I have a lovely picture of the Neverland mermaids. I'll think of a mermaid lagoon underneath the magic moon. <sighs> and the shower is pretty nice because you could have it come down here or you flip a switch and it will come out of these little sprocket things here. And then over here is so nice because you can take a nice bath in here, relax while looking out the outdoors. And it has little super jets in there. And yeah, it's absolutely magical when it snows. I love it. And then right up above me is a work also from Noah Fine Art of a beautiful purple haired mermaid. for joining me on my house tour video that you guys have been requesting so much. I am happy to do this for you guys, especially as a Christmas gift. And I just wanna thank God for this awesome, awesome home that Jacob and I get to have and create uh, videos for you guys. And also a huge thank you to you guys because we wouldn't be able to do what we do without you. And you guys are constantly encouraging us and inspiring us. So thank you guys so much. Keep on shining like the stars that you are. Ah, Merry Christmas! Hey my beautiful shining stars! Today I'm going to show you how to get this enchanting look perfect for the holiday season. off with Marc Jacobs Coconut Facial Primer. I want to apply it all over my face. This is going to help my foundation look smoother and last longer. For foundation, I'm using my Born This Way foundation by Too Faced Cosmetics in Natural Beige and I'm applying it all over my face and neck. Then 
using my Per Cameo Contour Stick, I'm going to contour and highlight my face, darkening the areas I want to be slimmer and highlighting the areas I want to stand out. I'm going to blend it in with my fingers and go over it all with some MAC Translucent Powder. For blush, I'm using this Dusty Rose color from my Divergent Palette. Applying to the apples of my cheeks, dusting it over the crease of my eye, and applying it alongside my temples. For my eyes, I'm using my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, which I absolutely love. I'm going to start off by taking the shadow shrimp, and using my finger, I'm just going to apply it right over my eyelid. I'm also going to use this shadow to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes. Next, taking that nice reddish brown shadow punk, I'm going to work it right into my crease area, kind of in a cat eyed shape. and blend it in. Taking the same shadow, we're gonna go right on the bottom lash line, starting at the ends and bringing it to the middle. Using my Too Faced Glitter Glaze in Gold, I'm gonna place it right onto the center of my lid, then blend it lightly with my finger. Onto the eyeliner, I'm using the Smoky Gray from Pixie, and I'm just gonna line the bottom of my lash line and bring it up top. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna go over it with my Revlon Liquid Liner, just really winging it out. Time to curl them lashes for some lift. Taking my Scandalized Mascara from Rimmel London, I'm going to apply it to the base of my lash line, wiggling my way upward. Then I'm going to add two pairs of falsies for some real dramatic flair. Adding some eyelash glue, allowing to get tacky, and placing as close to the lash line as possible. Adjusting with tweezers and letting dry. I'm going to use my Brow Wiz pencil from Anastasia, filling in and defining my brows. And finally, for the lips, I'm lining them with this burgundy lip pencil from NYX. with this super long lasting red velvet lipstick from Lime Crime that goes on wet and dries matte. Mm -hmm. I also want to add some sparkle and shine with this gold glitter dust from Forever 21. And that's it for the makeup, on to the outfit. I went with this pretty champagne floral print cupcake dress from Urban Vibe, and I paired it with these velvet black heels from Fashion Q. For accessories, I went with these pretty crystal earrings from Icings. And there is my complete enchanting holiday look. Hope you guys liked it. Remember to enjoy this beautiful season of giving with friends and family, making the most of every moment. Love you guys, keep on shining. Christmas, my beautiful shining stars. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get this Who-inspired makeup from the Grinch Who Stole Christmas. You get to see what it looks like with and without a Who Knows prosthetic, and be sure to stay tuned to the end for a Whovalation celebration. Starting off 
With my Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to take this shimmery beige eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it to my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes, just blending it with my fingers. Then I'm going to take this yellow gold shadow and apply it to my eyelid. Now taking a light brown, I'm going to work it into my crease for some depth and dimension. Taking this peachy shadow and a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to blend it all in. With my green jumbo eye pencil Huntress from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to apply it underneath the bottom lash line. Also going over it with a shimmery green liner. Then I'm quickly going over it with this amazing Lime Crime Glitter in Capricorn, which is a beautiful green. And because I'm a glitter junkie, I'm also going to add some gold glitter from LA Splash in Lady Luck right over my lid. Now I'm going to line my eyes with my NYX's Glide On Slide On Black Liner. Then fill in my brows with a small brush and a brown shadow. Time to curl them lashes for some lift. Then go in with my black mascara from Urban Decay. I'm going to start at the bottom of my lash line and then wiggle my way upward. Then I'm going to get down with the long lashes for those magical hoo eyes. Apply the glue, let it get tacky, apply as close to the lash line as possible, adjust with tweezers and let dry for 20 seconds. Then I'm going to go over it all with a black liquid liner just to blend it all in. some pink blush from Bare Minerals, I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and work it up towards my hairline, making sure they're nice and rosy. I'm also going to apply it to the tip of my nose and use some shimmery white shadow on top of it to frost it up a bit. Now I'm going to take some clear eyelash glue and self-adhesive jewels from the craft store and apply it to the sides of my face. I chose Holly because that was the theme of my Who character. Then go over the whole thing with some iridescent glitter. Taking some brown shadow and an angle brush, I'm going to contour my nose, making it look a little bit more animal-like because the Who's remind me of animal-like humans. For my lips, I'm using my favorite red lip liner from BH Cosmetics. It goes on so vibrant and silky smooth. I like to combine it with my NYX's Simply Red Lip Cream Pencil. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, there is my Who inspired makeup. I had so much fun creating this look with the help of my Who family. You can learn more about them in the description box below. And don't forget to check out my talented friends. Kaylin Ashley from Face Off. You could watch how she made the prosthetic. And Tracy Hines as Cindy Lou Who in her music video, Where Are You Christmas? That's it guys, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!
Hey my beautiful shining stars! Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to get this captivating sparkle and shine look guaranteed to brighten up any party. All right, starting off with my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Cool Neutrals. This has been my winter favorite. Taking the shimmery white shadow and the champagne color one, I'm gonna mix it together and place right over my lids and inner corners. Then taking this creamy beige, I'm going to use it to highlight the brow bone. Mixing this mauve and reddish brown shadow together, I'm gonna to work it into the crease area and blend it out. After that, I'm gonna mix the reddish brown and the taupe shadow and work it right underneath the bottom of my lash line. And to the crease area for more depth, and I'm just going to blend it all in with a fluffy brush. Taking this gorgeous Moondust Liquid Eyeshadow from Urban Decay in Chemtrail, I'm gonna place it right towards the center of my lid and blend it in with my finger. Then, mixing my NYX pigment in Pig and some hard candy glitter, I'm gonna place it carefully over the Moondust shadow while still wet. With my Glide On Slide On eyeliner from NYX, I'm going to line the bottom lash line, inner corners, and wing it out up top. Then, I'm gonna go over it all with my Voluminous Liquid Liner from L'Oreal. Time to curl them lashes for some lift. Then, generously apply my Longcomb Mascara in Hypno, starting at the base of my lashes and wiggling upward. For a more dramatic look, I'm gonna take my Ardell Wispy Lashes in 600 and my Kiss Lashes in number 11 for some dual lash action. Applying my Tinkerbell Lash Glue, I'm gonna allow it to get nice and tacky, placing it as close to the lash line as possible, adjusting with tweezers, and repeat. Double the lashes, double the fun. Taking my Revlon Color Stay Eyebrow Liner, I'm gonna to begin to fill in and define my brows. And then I'm gonna go over it with an angled brush and some dark brown shadow. For some extra sparkle and shine, I'm using my Starlit Liquid Highlighter from Makeup Forever, and this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Placing it right above my cheekbones and blending it in, then I'm gonna go over it with Snow Lit from my Estee Lauder Edit Glow Face and Eye Palette. Whew. For blush, I'm gonna use Gleam, applying it to the apples of my cheek and working it upwards towards my hairline. And finally, for my lips, I'm using my trusty Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in C14. Just lining those lips there. And then I'm gonna fill it in with Essence Lipstick in Creamy Nude. And there is your sparkle and shine look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's try to sparkle from the inside out, letting your light shine bright for all to see. And remember, real beauty comes from within. You are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Hey, my beautiful shining stars. It's Karis from Charisma Star TV and Cleezy from Itty Bitty Bacon One. So we wanted to bring you guys along and show you all the fun-filled things that you could do at Disney during the holiday season. So here we are, Greedy Mickey. Yeah, and little Diddy, my sister. Oh, she's going after the nose. She always likes squeezing their nose. And their eyelashes. Too. Awkward family photo. Yay. Here's me by myself because I'm a freak. <laughs> Disney freak! Mickey was so into my shirt. He's like, oh my gosh, there's a picture of me right there. I was like, oh, 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 Mickey, oh. I was like, get back in her right now, get back. There we are, together, Itty Bitty Baker One and Charisma Star TV. <laughs> so it's all decorated fabulous during Christmas time, whoa. Oh, these are two of my subscribers that I met. 
feeling neglected. She wanted to get in. Yeah. She, and that girl, she had a One Direction sweater on, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and uh, Cleezy has a make-believe boyfriend called Harry Styles. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, a fun hit to ride. We're first, so best left. Hey! Now that was good, Cleese. Thanks. You're a very good singer. Thank you. One of my favorite things to do is go to the Jingle Jangle Jamboree. Woo! Oh, check this out. Look at her. She, she's gonna grab her eyelashes. There's the eyelashes. Oh, oh, oh. Get away from me. Get that kid away from me. <laughs> Aww. She looks so cute. Santa! I know him. He was very skinny him. for a Santa. Did you yeah, notice that? He needs brush up on his cookie eating. I was like, wow. Mrs. Claus was so gorgeous and nice. So cute. Merry Christmas! So I got my reindeer ear from Claire's, my bow from Glimmerwood, my mini month bun buns that I made a video back in March on how to get these guys, and then my shirt is from Ross. My suspenders, Forever 21. My undershirt from Forever 21. Leotards from Target. Socks from Target. And shoes from Ross. Merry Christmas, OOTD. Okay, so I am wearing this army style jacket from Forever 21. And this Johnny Ramones dress from Forever 21 as well. And my kitty cat tights are from a little shop online. And then my cute little Doc Martin looking shoes are from a store called Zoo Lily. Okay, so her, her hat is from Sprout. Sprouts, her shirt is a happy down from Sissy. Her little are from Zoo Lily. Zoo Lily .com. Um, Target. Target. And Target. Target. Bam. Diddy's O O T D. I believe you could totally be an elf, Cleezy. Really? Uh, you meet the height of Craig. I think so. you are you're like the best elf. Oh thank you. Thank it you. Just, it fits your personality. She loved that game. I, she did. Oh, oh butt shot. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to let the kids. That was fun. That. We like to dance. Oh, her face is like, she's like, woo, woo. <laughs> that lady, oh, I know what dang, she was talking like, Jacob whoa. out. Like, get out my way. That was kind of scary. We're gonna go to Santa. I love it. Diddy's like comfy, comfy, she's like crossing her hands. She always does like that thug like pose with her arms, but this time she didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I am very Christmassy. <laughs> and Santa, I want to go to Disney World. Okay. <laughs> oh, those, those guys are pretty good. Oh, they they performed also in the uh, Golden Horseshoe too. They always perform there. Those guys are good. They're getting them? down. They're having a hoedown. I, I'm sad we missed the goats. Thank you for bringing that up. This is a very touchy subject. I know. I, I was like crying. I'm devastated. The goats They're were coming. My favorite thing about this event during Christmas time is the Haunted Mansion is now with Jack Skellington King from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> so we were gonna go in, but the line was too long. Yeah. But it's really cool in there. It is. New Orleans. New Orleans Square. It's always nice to visit. Yeah. During the Christmas time. Yeah. At Disneyland, they got it kind of like Mardi Gras Christmas vibe going on, and it's pretty sweet. Oh, so here we are strolling along. I love that. Time. I almost got hit by that stroller. You did. But look how pretty it oh is. Oh my goodness, I know. I love that. I'm gonna decorate my house like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. People were staring at me. <laughs> like, what's wrong with that girl? So it's not a Christmas thing, but hey, it's Christmas colors. I've been running around like a crazy, so I need to wet my whistle. I got myself a mint julep. Hey, refreshing. Bye guys, have fun. Woo, Merry Christmas. They gave me extra cherries. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm going to eat them. Mm. Fabulous. Right there behind me is a shooting expedition and it's one of my all time favorites, but I don't got any change, so boo hoo on me. Living paycheck to paycheck. I really do love that shooting expedition. Yeah, you do. Fun fact for you, today is December 5th and it's Walt Disney's birthday today. So happy birthday, Walt. Happy Thank birthday, you for Walt. making a place where our dreams come true. I proposed to Karis in front of the castle January 1st, 2009 and it was amazing. Yay, Jacob! And Diddy! Diddy! <laughs> oh yeah, that is the best. Seriously, there's it's breathtaking. There's nothing like looking at the castle. Diddy was really upset that we couldn't actually go to oh, it. Oh, she was. Oh, the baby. Oh, She's the poor crying. baby. She's crying just a little bit. You miss. I miss it.
Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, the parade. Oh, that's my favorite. The Aww. snowmen are so cute. You know what? They should have had frozen stuff in there this year for they the parade. Because it's like amazing. Love it. I want to see it. Everyone says, I what's his it. name? The little snowman? Olaf. Olaf is really cute. Oh, I love those ginger. And it looks like gingerbread cookies are flat in the back. Mm-hmm. Poofy. <gasps> Oh, hey. there's Pluto. Usually Max is up there. What happened to Max? <gasps> you are so right. I totally forgot about that. Oh, my that. favorite princess in the white. Yay. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, Tiana. Tiana. And there's the uh, Aurora. Cinderella. Cinderella. Oh, oh there's, there's a beauty in the beast. There's beast. Oh, my God. Woody. How to partner. <gasps> Whoa, they're doing the can-can. Look at that reindeer get down. Wait. If you haven't seen my reindeer tutorial, check it out. That's all. Baby, what are we doing? We're going on at the Small World Christmas Town. Woo! Aw, Diddy. It is really awesome in here. It is. And it's very warm, surprisingly, in the wintertime. Yeah. Because it's freaking freezing. And I was able to FaceTime in there. That was really cool. What is that up there? Is that a moose? It's, it's, a, it's a moose, yes. Oh, They're in Canada. See, oh, there's a Mountie. I thought that was a Nutcracker. There's a plain old Nutcracker. Yeah, it's a Mountie Nutcracker. Ooh, 2014. Hey. Oh, that looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. These trees, decorations. I said garland. Oh, Jasmine. Oh. Hey, this is the jungle part. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I like that part, too. Yeah, this part's good. There's Feliz Navidad. <laughs> oh, my favorite, the whole white room. Where it's all, they're all there. Oh, my. Oh my gosh! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So precious! Yeah, shake your booty time! Shake your booty like a big fat booty, y'all! What? <laughs> I've never heard that song. I'll show before. you that song later. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> oh, there's the holiday cards and Christmas cards. Oh, a Christmas cards? What's that? <laughs> I want one. I love you, I love you, I love you! So another one of our favorites is the gingerbread cookie. Mickey style. Yeah, because Mickey style has like a dip chocolate in there. Yeah. And Queezy's actually going to be making a gingerbread, but it has a twist to it. What's the twist? There's going to be zombies involved. Zombie gingerbread. Oh, baby, you rocking out. What, what? I'm trying to get this weird, that weird horse in the butt. That horse has got some cheeks. <laughs> Best, beautiful, oh my goodness. Is this holiday edition? Oh, I love it. I it's beautiful. It's when it's silent night, I cry. Sparkles in the sky. Oh, the castle looks hella creepy for a second. Did you see it was like oh, a it's, it's, not, it's supposed to be Christmas, not Christmas. Oh my goodness, you guys do not want to miss out on the fireworks for Christmas time. The show is spectacular. Beautiful colors, lights, music, and even snow. Yes, I said it, snow. Be sure to check out my amazing niece, Itty Bitty Baker One, Cleasy Leonard, on her channel. She's gonna be making the gingerbread zombie Christmas cookies, and they're gonna be amazing. Like and comment below. Let me know what you guys think of videos like these. We love you, and Merry Christmas! Bye! Mwah.